people so today I want to show you how I make a slab bowl so I have this plastic um, it's like a placemat doily kind of thing so I'm just gonna place that on my rolled out slab of clay and smooth it out onto the clay with my little roller or brayer whichever you want to call it so it kind of pushes the impression right down into the clay and you can see on the other side of the clay I've already done it on that side so push it down in there real nicely Make sure you get the full impression in there. And then I'm going to just kind of peel it back. I'll use this knife to find an edge to pick up. Peel it back and reveals a beautiful design on there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bat as a template. Um, so I think this is a 10 inch bat. It could be 12. Not sure. So I'm just going to place it on where I want it on the design and then cut around it so it makes a perfect circle. And then I'll do that on the other side too because I'm going to make two bowls. So just place it where you want it. I don't always put the design like exactly in the middle of the bowl. I kind of like it a little bit off center. So I'll just cut around this one. So here I have this plastic bowl and I put um, actually a pair of pantyhose on top of it. So an old pair of pantyhose and I just stretched it around this plastic bowl because I need some kind of a barrier in between the plastic and the clay so the clay doesn't stick to it. So this is my first time doing it with pantyhose so we're going to see together if this works. So here I'm going to take this piece of slab and pick it up and put it right on top of my plastic bowl form. And then this is kind of a tedious process um, to kind of get it pushed down onto the form. Um, and I'm trying to do it without, like you can see it makes all these organic like wavy edges. I don't want those on this bowl, so I'm going to take quite a bit of time pushing this all down and forming it directly onto the, um, the bowl. So mostly use my hands, but sometimes I use this, um, this is a soft nap paint roller. So sometimes I use this to kind of help guide the clay down. And it's a slow process, like I said, I kind of start um, at the center on the bottom and I work my way down. So what you really have to do is kind of push the clay back into itself, if that makes any sense. So as it gets like closer to the edge where you have all those wavy um, pieces of clay, those I want to, instead of leaving the waves there, I want to push that clay kind of back into itself to form it around the round shape of the bowl. So again, a really slow process. I try not to do this too quickly because you end up with those uh, waves and it can actually like put wrinkles in, which sometimes I don't mind a few small wrinkles. I just don't want the huge waves on this bowl anyways. So again, slow, 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 just pushing it down. Go back to using my hands. So I'm going to like pick a section and I'll try to really, again, like press the clay into itself. Um, if you were doing this and you had your hands on the clay, it would probably make a little bit more sense to you. But right here, like pushing it into itself, like getting rid of all those waves and curves on it. And I'm really actually at the rim of the plastic bowl, I'm kind of pushing the clay like up and under. So, and I'll be cutting that excess clay off later. So you can see all the excess that's hanging down in the bottom here. That's all going to be cut off later. So I'm not too worried about some of that being wavy or wrinkled. So 
So now I had it pretty well formed around this bowl, so I'm really just pushing uh, the ends of the clay like up and under the rim, because again, I'm going to be cutting this off, so I'm kind of giving myself like a starting point of where to cut it off, so I can cut it like flush with the rim. Okay, and here I'm just smoothing it out with this uh, flexible rubber rib, and just getting out any, um, mostly my fingerprints, just to make it a nice smooth, smooth surface. And then we'll be adding a foot ring on the bottom of this bowl. So I want to kind of get out all those fingerprints where the foot ring is going to go, because I won't be able to do that after I put the foot ring on there. So now I have this X-Acto knife that I'm going to use to cut off all that excess clay that's hanging off the bottom. So this form actually has, um, it's not my pantyhose one, it actually has um, cheesecloth on it. So I'm cutting around the base of the bowl and I'm trying not to cut the cheesecloth, but I'm cutting off all this excess clay that's hanging off the bottom. So it'll give it a nice flat rim. And again, just do this slowly. Sometimes there's a lot of thickness of clay that you're cutting through down there, so you can't always cut through it in one pass. So there we go, peeling off all that clay. And it leaves a pretty clean edge on there. And then here I'm just trying to mark where I think the exact center of the bottom is so I know where to place my foot ring. So now I'm going to add a foot ring on here. So I have my uh, scoring tool and I just scored around the bottom of the bowl. And here's a coil that I rolled that I'm going to use as the foot. So I'm going to place it on where I scored and I'm going to overlap it because obviously this coil is way too long. And then I'm going to cut through it, um, make like a diagonal cut through all the pieces. And then just take out the excess. Take those pieces out and then I can form together the two ends to make like a perfect circle for a foot ring. So I'm going to score both the ends, add some slip, and then I can really just kind of put these two pieces together and just smooth it out to make a nice smooth ring. Just trying to get rid of the seam that's in there. Okay, so now I'm going to score the back of the foot ring. And I'm going to add some slip to the bottom of my bowl where I scored. And put my foot ring right on there. So trying to get it lined up really nice. So obviously this right here looks a little bit rough, so I'm going to be smoothing this out. So I have a wet chamois in my little bucket here. Just going to wring all the water out. I don't want it dripping wet, but wet enough where it will slide against the clay. So I'm going to wrap the chamois around the foot and then just kind of spin my bowl so it smooths out my foot ring. And do a little bit of cleanup with a paintbrush. 
have any slop that oozed out from underneath it. Okay, so this is the bowl that I made with the mold that has the pantyhose over it. So we're gonna see together whether this works or not. Cross your fingers. I think it's working. Look at that. Came right out. Beautiful bowl. Sweet. <laughs>